So it's no secret that I've recently developed a weird obsession with deathmatch maps in Team Fortress Classic. Don't worry, I'm not going like, to stick on this for the rest of my life. But, you know, it's just weird because you would never really associate, like, deathmatch with Team Fortress nowadays. Uh, especially with, like, the public perception of Team Fortress 2. And, like, how that game plays. But uh, not only were there uh, deathmatch uh, maps just straight up for teams killing each other. But I stumbled across a few maps that were calling themselves uh, Soldier Arena maps. And basically, if, like, without really needing to explain much, it's you, everyone plays as soldiers and kills each other. Um, that's it. There's no other classes available. Um, this is basically trying to be Quake, basically. It's like, you know, it reminds me kind of the mod for Quake called Rocket Arena, where you primarily use the rocket launcher. Like, you start with it. Um, this isn't really exactly the same thing, but it's got the same kind of spirit. Um, you know, to each their own. I would say, though, if you really, really wanted to play, like, you know, like a Quake style, like, you know, rocket jumping, fragging, good time, you might as well just go play Quake. But, yeah, this is, uh, uh Soldier Arena Exfoliate by, uh, Mulchman. Objective. Four-team deathmatch. Brilliant. Probably shouldn't visit that link anymore. I, I doubt that's still up. If it is, I'm really surprised. Uh, yeah, this is kind of old. See, Soldier Arena created by this guy or this lady or whoever. Uh, 2000, so I don't know. But then why is it copyrighted in 1999? I I'm overthinking it. Anyway, it's a simple map, but I actually really like it. Um, so first of all, I just, I'm like kind of fond of maps that just float in the air like this. Uh, it's kind of clashing, I'm gonna be honest, the colors here. Like, you know, that green and the red, it's kind of weird, but whatever, that's just me. But the thing is, I actually like uh, how this is laid out. This actually does really well, like, you know, like when you're talking about the soldier's unique characteristics. Uh, in my opinion, this actually fits them really well because, you know, rocket jumping, right? So I want to get up there. Well, well, you go right up. You can, like, you got a lot of movement. It's not just, you know, a lot of other classes, a lot of other first-person shooters, you'd be stuck to just going down and then having to slowly climb up, but not here. If you got the health for it, yeah, go right back up. Well, I missed it, but, you know, that's what I mean. This actually, there was actually, like, you know, some thought into putting this, like, so it actually fits the soldier's play style. Um... But, it's like, you know, the only thing um, I really don't like about this map, which we'll see when I play with some bots, is that this is a perfect opportunity to actually implement team spawns in an open area. You could have had red, blue, green, yellow in all the quadrants here, and, like, you spawn maybe up here, but everyone spawns on one side. But, no, it's still random, so it's still, like, there's not a lot of team coordination still. So I think there's a missed opportunity. Because if you did that, then you could even color the different areas differently. Like, you actually, like, have a red grass, blue grass, you know, kind of motif going on here. But that's not what he, uh, the author did here. But, it, you know, it, it's fun enough. It's that same, I, I gotta stress, it's just for that mindless kind of burst of, I'm gonna shoot someone for, like, ten minutes and we'll move on and do something else kind of, you know, vibe. But, you know, I, I remember thinking it was good, so we'll, we'll check it out with some bots. Alright. I'm always blue. and always assigned to do that. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, like I said, everyone kind of just spawns wherever. But you'll notice, um, I don't know if you saw it briefly, but it seems that you get warped back if you go through. I didn't even realize this for some reason beforehand, but you actually get warped back onto the map. You can't actually fall out the sides, which I think works, considering that we're supposed to be focused on shooting each other with rockets and stuff like that. At least, like, you know, everyone like, is on an equal playing field, so there's no need to, like, choose classes or anything like that so like you know it's got that going for it i, I can't again i can't help but th think this would have worked better if we all spawned with our teams you know i guess it's a good thing that we can't use nail bombs because that would just be insane but yeah it's all right i i'm really just more so any if anything i just like this map layout like the idea of the map layout this like multi-tiered vertical setup that's really e like Deceptively simple, and there's no like lay like rails or anything, so it's very easy to rocket jump between the like the areas if you really wanted to. I would imagine something like this would work a lot better, like you know with like fewer people. But again, if you like you know you're playing TF2, you gotta play with a full 30 server. What's the point, you know? I'm not good with soldier, just like I'm not good with any class in this game. So just thought I'd point that out again. I would have also tried to find a way to disable grenades, so you strictly have to use your rockets and shotgun. But that's just me thinking out loud. I also would have probably, like, you know, I, I said I was a fan of, um, 
like maps that are just kind of floating in the middle of nowhere. And I still, I still am, but I would have set this in space. Like, not just because of, like, the kind of contrasting, like, between, of colors between the land, like, that map itself in the background. But this map, it's just, it doesn't look good. I, I get it, this is the gold source engine, a lot of skybox, uh, like, skyboxes didn't really look all that good. Uh, it's more so as time's gone on and, like, re resolutions have gotten higher. I would have just set it in space, though. Completely, like, you know, just no, not distracting at all. Yeah, that was, uh, uh, Soldier in Exfoliate. Decent map. Um, it is what it is. If you want to shoot rockets at people, I guess play this one. I don't know. 